Welcome back creators. In this video, I will show you the improvements we did on our advanced rank system. This system is already sold over 250 times. And because the new year, we spent some time in improving the system. So it's more optimized. It has some extra features and it's easier to set up. Let's dive into it. Hey everyone, hold up for just 20 seconds. Starting this January, we'll be dropping new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. What's even better? Every Wednesday, we'll be rolling out either a brand new system or an exciting update to our existing ones. And here's the best part, the update will be free for anyone who's already purchased the system. All the details will be shared in our Discord, so make sure to join it, it's definitely worth it. Alright, now back to the video. The improvements we did is we made a dynamic progress bar, so it's much more dynamic than before. We made new rank backblings that are uh, animated. You can change the size very easily. I will explain this in the private tutorials that you will receive on our Patreon. And we also made a hovering animation above your head. That's very cool. Beside that, we made a switch so you can turn the ranks off. This switch can be used for a custom round system. Let's say you have an area where people uh, choose their teams. There you want to show the rank, but when they actually are in the game, the rank needs to disappear so people have like a, a much better view and they don't get distracted by it. So that's a nice add-on. You can use it if you want. It's not necessary. We also changed some things in the game manager. Inside of this we have a points for eliminations, points for eliminated, the elimination tracker, the eliminated tracker. Those are just basic things. So this is like how many points do you, you receive for each kill. This is how many points you will lose for each death. You can put this on zero, but I would prefer to put something in here to make it a bit more difficult. Then we have the display settings. Inside those settings, we have a show rank. You can put it on a back bling, a hover, or you can put it off. We have the switch. You can decide if you want to use it or not. And we also need to add a clear trigger. This VFX trigger is um, just linked to one of the VFX powers and it's set to clear. It doesn't matter which power you're using, but you need to just link it up to one of them. I put it to this one. Then we have the ranks. Inside of this, you can add an infinity amount of ranks. For each rank, you need to add his hut. You can add a VFX power for the hover, a VFX power for the backbling if you want. And you also need to add the target amounts. So this is if you are over 5 points, you will go from one rank to another. And then we have the progress cinematics. Each player needs to have one cinematic. So basically if you have 2 players, you need to add 2 of them. If you have 12, you need to have 12 progress cinematics. It's very simple, like you see. The setup time of this is around 15 minutes or less. If you're interested in the system, you can get it from our Patreon. Use the code 2025 to get 20% off. If you already bought this system, you can get this upgrade for free. So check it out. 